So there's a video from Mtash called There is Something Wrong with the Genshin Community. I'd like to hear his take on this and I'd like to give my feedback as well on the whole situation with this video because this might be something we should take on a serious note, but I'll try to be level-headed as much as I can just so it's fair on both sides. So let's begin. I'm taking crazy pills in the gacha community. They're so f***ing copium with everything. I, I swear, I'm like, a, I'm like the f***ing crazy guy. I'm like the conspiracy theorist because I'm pointing out some of these things. I fell in love with Genshin because of the combat and looking at the artifacts and looking at the weapons and seeing the potential and, and the Spiral Abyss. I was like, oh, they're going to add more floors. There's going to be more, right? Eventually. And that's why I fell in love with the game. And so when I questioned some of the other stuff in like the little mini games, I I'm not trying to hate, but I'm just like, okay, like, is that is that the best use of your resources? You know what I'm saying? And then, and then I'm talking about Tower Fantasy and I think time getting is shit. And people were defending it and they're like, no, I think it's actually good. In what, in what world is it, is it, is it good? It's, it, it's like, it's like the people defending 20 wishes on the anniversary from a multi, multi, hyper successful gacha game. The most successful gacha game. And you could argue, well, the game's not dead. Everyone loves the game. Why would they be generous? Then they, then they'll you know, make less money. And it's like, geez, do they need any more? They made $3 billion in a year. Like, they're so successful. They can give us a five-star. It's not going to break their bank. We're still going to play. I'm going to play more because now I can get my C2 gene to test with my IATO. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going to play more. And and people are just like, it's it's 20 wishes. Just just be, be grateful. Epic Seven literally just had their anniversary and I got 200 wishes over the course of two weeks and a five-star selector and a bunch of other resources. Like, and I'm gonna play more Epic Seven now because I got more stuff. But it's just like the gacha community is just like bootlicking for these games. I, I, don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I, 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 I'm sorry for wanting more. I'm sorry for, for like seeing the potential in the game and being like, hey man, like this combat really, you, you really got something going here. Maybe, you know, dive deeper into that. And they're like, we're making a card game. We're making a card game instead and an anime. We will do anything in our power to make content that isn't based on the weapons, artifacts, characters, constellations that you've been working towards. It just is like cognitive dissonance to me. I can see where he's coming with this. It's been two years since anybody has played this game. For all the OGs out there and like the closed beta 2s and then early alphas. Just anybody that has been with the game since the beginning and before it even launched. Genshin Impact hasn't really given us a meaningful reward for even playing their game. You can tell from like other mobile gotchas, strictly mobile gotchas, that they appreciate the time that you spent in their game because it's just free promotion to them. And not only that, for those who fund their game to make future projects things like epic seven tower of fantasy that's one of my favorite ones i think tower of fantasy is one of my favorite ones when it comes to being rewarded for what you do inactively mostly blue archive guardian tales basically any other gacha game that is made from mihoyo or hoyoverse one of my speculations with the reasons why they don't reward us well enough is because of the fact that this game is just so popular to the point where they won't just care about their player base to reward them for their time spent in the the game because they know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of people defending the game and just playing it 24 7 and praising it compared to any other gotcha it's just my speculation in my opinion but it's not what everybody else would think probably but oh well we're all different i have said something similar to mtaj when it comes to genshin players bootlicking for defending the game and all that it's 20 wishes be grateful the people that are trying to defend the game in my personal opinion are people that just appreciate anything and have nothing to nitpick about it. They're the type of people that just see a new game. They don't really criticize much. If they like it, they like it. Mtash is one person that tries to find all the minor details and not only that, his personal interests. And if it doesn't suit his interests, which fits in with a bunch of other players, which are the meta slaves, if you would, just people that don't really care about story. They speed run. They clear things as fast as they can. They just want to see big damage. They want to strategize with everything. So he has some critical opinions opinions about it, but the other players out there who don't see the same way as Mtash are going against 
him, calling him the bad guy for it. This whole situation is not right or wrong in any way. Everybody has their own standards, own expectations, their opinions, but he shouldn't be hated for it. He just wants a better game out of this because he's completely correct when I say this. Gotcha games, besides anything published by MiHoYo, rewards us better. I have stopped playing Guardian Tales for some time now, but whenever I log back in, I see a bunch of gems in my mailbox. Gems that I didn't have to farm for in the story. Another example, if you ever played Tower of Fantasy, which I guarantee you a bunch of Genshin players have. If you stop playing the game each day, they will still reward you for majority of the stuff in the game that you didn't even grind for. The only downside to that is that you still have to play the game and level up to the cap. They're not going to level you up just by claiming the rewards. You still got to play the game. You don't even have to play the story just to even level up, which is really cool. It's an MMO with gotcha add-ons to it. So that means you can still fight enemies, you can still do bosses, and you can still do domains to gain XP as long as there's a level cap that's far beyond your current level. Genshin Impact, we don't even get that. The only way to level up in the game is by spending resin. Beyond that, it's impossible. Genshin Impact is just a game that's built on story. They don't really care about anything else besides that. Why do you think the Spiral Abyss is too easy nowadays? Why do you think our events are way too easy as it is and it's just a speed run to claim Primal Gems? Because they don't favor the meta gameplay, they favor the people that defend their game. It's just that simple. And remember, it's just my personal opinion. We're all different. You hate me for it, that's all right. I don't mind. All I can say is that I understand that Mtash wants a better game, but he also has to realize Genshin Impact is not a PvP type of game. It's just a gotcha game that's meant for fun. It's not a game that's meant for serious hardcore gaming. If he wants to play that stuff, he would have to play Epic 7, he would have to play a Tower of Fantasy, anything besides Behoyo's games. I'll just say that, which sucks for me to say. And I respect Mtash's opinions. I really do. Because I'm going to be real with you guys, I'm not really a lore enthusiast. I don't really care for story. I really do enjoy being the one to spam buttons and fight enemies. And not only that, trying to learn the tactics of fighting enemies, who to eliminate first, how to rotate on enemies, what characters to swap on at the right times, etc. So I can see it from his perspective on why he sees something wrong with the Genshin community, but I can also see it from the Genshin community's perspective in a way because not everybody is a meta player. Not everybody's a grinder. People just want to play games to enjoy their time away from reality. That's it. Some people out there, or a majority of people out there, don't want to play games just to try to be a better player. Everybody has a different perspective when it comes to video games and how they should play it. You either be playing it for fun or you play it not for fun. That's all it is to it. But in this case, majority of the players in Genshin Impact favor fun over hardcore gameplay. Yahoo!